Try as you might, things do not always go smoothly. A missed step, incorrectly entered credentials, sometimes things just go wrong. In this video, I review some common issues you might run into when you configure GitHub as source control for ServiceNow and steps you can take to get beyond the issues. Most issues you run into stem from access. You might see an error similar to these when you try to branch or commit changes to a repo. Potential solutions to address these are to, when you're working with a ServiceNow shared repository, verify that you're working with your own personal fork of the repo. Verify that you have entered the correct credentials for the repository you're attempting to write to. Or if you are using two-factor authentication, be sure you have generated a token with the correct associated scope to write to the repo and use that in place of your password. See the video on how to configure two-factor authentication for more information on how to do this. For credential issues, simply go to the studio, go to source control, and edit repository configuration. Update the configuration with the correct login details. This is how you can update your password if you change it on GitHub, or if you implement two-factor authentication on your GitHub account and need to apply a token instead of a password. The URL to the repository is read-only and cannot be changed after creation. If you did configure your application to use the wrong repository, such as the ServiceNow repo, instead of your personal repo, you need to delete and recreate the repository in the settings. So to do that, you come over to the main window. In the application navigator, type sys underscore repo underscore config dot list. And this brings up the list of repositories. Find the one that's associated with your application. Open it and verify the details. This is the one. Note that the URL still cannot be changed here and then delete it. That deletes the associated repository. Your application now has no associated repository. You can try to attach it to your application to the correct one now back in the studio. Just do a quick refresh here. Now in source control, edit repository configuration is no longer available, but link to source control is, and you can put in the correct details from your repository with the correct login details. If this still does not work, then you need to delete both the repository and the application and start over. And you would do that from the application list. Go into the application itself and delete it from here. You will need to type the word to delete to delete an application. Another cause for error is if you update your repository outside ServiceNow. Repositories linked to ServiceNow should never be updated outside ServiceNow. If this happens, then the checksum on the records will not match, and this mismatch causes issues with ServiceNow. Steps to address this use git command line options and can be found in the readme file in the shared ServiceNow repositories. That's it. If you find any issues that do not match these, be sure to submit feedback from the page in the training where you run into an issue. Happy coding!